everyone. So my apologies, uh, first off, for not posting a video in a while. I have been working so, so much, like 10, 12, sometimes 14 hours a day. So it's kind of hard for me to come home and have the energy and motivation and everything to make videos, even though I love doing it. Um, and most of the time, I don't wear a whole lot, if any, makeup to work. So, you know, I don't want to come home all tired and looking bleh because it's a makeup channel and if I'm not wearing makeup and have no energy to talk about makeup then what's the point right um, but anyways night before last I was super excited to come home and find my coastal sense order on my front step and yeah I'm really excited to try everything out I I got a couple of the items that I know have been discussed many many times on YouTube and then a few other things that are either brand new or haven't been talked about quite as much but let's just get right into it because I have um, quite a few things that I want to go through. The first is the 10 color blush palette, which is right here. It has a nice mix of, I think, some neutral shades and also some brighter shades. Um, for instance, this orangey apricot shade is really vivid and obviously, you know, the hot pink is vivid. And then the rest are just really pretty um, soft neutral colors. For the most part and I think they're gonna work really well with my skin tone you know sometimes I find blushes that just look you know so so pretty in the pan and they're just too bright too vivid um, so I'm really excited with this I think that or excited about it I think that I'm gonna get quite a bit of use out of that um, next thing this was recommended that I try it out from the girls on makeup alley I haven't even taken it out of the bag yet it's the silica powder um, so this can just be used as well, what I gather I mean from what I'm picking up on from the girls it can be used as like a, uh, a primer before you put anything else on your face obviously after your moisturizer and all that um, but before you put on your foundation and your other powders and it'll kind of act as a, a base for the rest of your makeup that you're putting on and also help um, fill in your pores and, and camouflage that kind of stuff so next up is the 88 color eyeshadow palette and everyone always references um, the two different uh, colorful palettes. I'm, I'm not talking about like the warm one, but um, for the 88s, they usually reference shimmer and matte. And when I went on the site to order, they don't have a matte one listed. It's just the shimmer or the um, the other one, <laughs> and it's just called 88 color eyeshadow palette. And it has some of the shades are a little bit shimmery, but it's mostly satin and matte shades. And obviously there's a huge selection of shades and I'm really really excited that there is a matte black because I don't have a matte black and next up is the 88 warm palette which I have to say after seeing all these uh, tutorials and okay I'm totally gonna have to edit this video like a lot because as I was opening up the warm palette the one that I just showed you dropped to the floor and it was all right but at the same time, when I was looking down at the palette falling, two of these eyeshadows just popped right out. Um, so I'm going to have to figure out, I think it was this one and this one. So I'm just going to have to um, glue those back in, I guess. I mean, this palette, obviously, if you guys have heard about Coastal Suns before, you know that they're not expensive. So I'm not expecting like 88, you know, Stila eyeshadow minis. That's not what it's about. Um, it's just about, I think, getting to try a lot of different colors and playing around with color combinations and seeing what works and um, just uh, for inspiration basically because like I don't have a, a matte bright yellow and I don't have a um, bright red you know so this is just a way to try to uh, try a bunch of different colors and I think they're going to be really good for gifts the next time I order um, rambling but anyways I was not inspired at all when I opened this it's going to be kind of hard to show you without those guys falling out again and not showing you the mirror. But um, there are a lot of similar shades that are just, you know, just a little tiny hint, darker, lighter, more shimmery than the one right next to it. I wanted to try out that neutral eye look that Tiffany D did um, using this a little while back because it just looks so gorgeous on her and that's kind of why I got the warm palette to be honest with you because I like a lot of... Um, a lot of bright colors usually when I actually have time to do my makeup and the other palette I got is the 88 ultra shimmer palette 
which absolutely does have those bright, insane kind of colors. And I've already played around with this a little bit. So if you'll notice like some fingerprints in some of them, that would be why. Um, just the, the pigmentation on these is like crazy good. It's crazy good. Like the color is exactly how I want it to be. Like in the pan, it'll be the same on my eyes. And that's, that's thrilling because sometimes when you get, you know, less expensive makeup, the quality can just be crap and it can be really chalky. Look at that. Yeah, they're really, really pretty. And there's 88 of them. So 88 and 88 and 88. That's a whole bunch of colors for me to be able to try out. Um, next are the brushes that I got. I didn't go crazy overboard with the brushes, and I could have because I love trying out new brushes that I don't think I have already. And this is the Doe Foot Stippler, which is just good for, you know, this kind of motion, for uh, that kind of motion, obviously, stippling motion. Um, and that was only about 3 or $4, I think. And then this, I forget what this one's called. But it's like the tiniest, sorry, there's eyeshadow rubbed all over my hand. Um, tiniest, tiniest little smudge brush. And this is going to be perfect for, you know, taking a color and getting it right in here. For a really precise line, if I want to use this for powder shadow versus using my angle brush, which doesn't keep the powder on there too well, I think this is going to, um, <clears throat> this is going to pick up the pigment a lot better than that other brush would. And this, I think, was only $1.99, something like that. Um, next, they gave me a sample. And this is the Mayan Gold Shadow. It's just a tiny little, little container with a loose shadow in there. And the last thing I got was the Undercover High Definition Foundation. And I got the shade ST01. And what they said to do to find out your color is to pull up a, a swatch like a, um, a swatch online of the foundation you use now. So obviously it'd be a liquid foundation, not a powder, because that would just be way too hard to, to try to compare the two. But pull up, say, like, go to Sephora and um, find, like, the picture of what your color looks like. Or MAC, whatever, even though MAC swatches are kind of horrendous. Um, and then pull up, like, the larger size of their foundation and uh, try to find just the one that's closest. So I picked this one, ST01, which I believe is the lightest shade, and it is really light. I was actually thinking it was gonna be too light, but get a little bit out on my... This is like blunder day at my house. This stuff just squirted all over my carpet. Okay, so... Yeah, the color does look pretty light at first, but once I blend it in, yeah, pretty darn close. And especially with like a powder on top of it to set it, and my MAC powder always oxidizes a little bit on me anyways. Looks like I have a red blotch right there. Anyways, so um, it feels nice. I haven't worn it on like all over my face yet, but the color looks... Um, like I said, a pretty close match, so I'm definitely going to be doing a review on that. So I think now I'm going to go film my next contest video, which I should have posted within the next day or two. So be on the lookout for that, and thank you again for watching, subscribing, commenting, all that good stuff, and have a great night, everyone. Bye. All this different kind of stuff using this. I was actually a little bit uninspired when I opened I just dropped the other one. I was a little bit uninspired when I opened this. Um, 